Good morning, I'm Evangelist Matthew Lee and welcome to today's edition of From Heaven at Seven Family. The portion of scripture we're going to be reading from today comes from the book of Proverbs, chapter 21, verse 16, from the Amplified Translation as well as the Passion Translation, and it reads as follows. A man who wanders from the way of understanding godly wisdom will remain in the assembly of the dead. And the Passion Translation reads, When you forsake the ways of wisdom, you will wander into the realm of dark spirits. Family, isn't that portion of scripture so true? And it's something that we need to be reminded of on a regular basis, family. If we stay on the path of wisdom, on the way of understanding of godly wisdom, as this portion of scripture speaks about, we will remain in the ways of the Lord, the counsel of the Lord, and we will walk in his ways in this life, family. But if we stray from these ways and wander away from these ways, what does it say there? It says you will wander into the realm of dark spirits. You will wander into the realm of darkness. You will wander into the realm of sin. You will wander into the realm of being influenced by evil spirits and stuff like that because you're stepping out of the protection of God when you're stepping out of his ways family you see when we walk in the Lord's ways when we walk on the Lord's path family we are protected but if we're going out there and wandering off into the ways of darkness into the ways of sin those sins are opening up doors for the devil to come in and attack our lives family and make things get worse and worse and worse and often what happens is when things get worse we continue to wander further and further and further away and that's not what the Lord wants for us family the Lord wants us to come back to him to come back onto his path of understanding onto his path of godly wisdom family because when we do this we step back into his protection we step back into his will family so that we can accomplish in this life what God wants us to but also so that we can live the life that the Lord wants us to family the Lord wants us to live a life free of sin the Lord wants us to live a protected life the Lord wants us to live a prosperous life the Lord wants us to live a successful life and a life that is in pursuit of him family but we cannot do this if we if we are wandering off and away from the path of godly wisdom family which is why it is imperative that we remain on that path and how do we keep ourselves on that path family we keep ourselves on that path by keeping the word of God in our heart at all times family by reading the word each and every day because as we read the word the word transforms us from the inside out as we read the word the word supernaturally stirs up our faith family and the word leads us and guides us and corrects us when necessary, family, to show us the way that the Lord wants us to live, to show us the things that he wants us to do, family. All of this is found in the Lord's word, and there is power in spending time in the word of God. There are many Christians out there who pray each and every day, but don't read their Bibles at all, family, and that's a dangerous place to be because it's all good and well that we pray, but if we're not reading the word of God, we're not being transformed by it, our faith isn't being stirred up by it, and when this happens, family, then it, it causes us to start to stray away from the path of godly wisdom because we don't have that godly wisdom in our lives because we've been lacking and neglecting that our spending time in the word of God. So I want to encourage you, family, each and every day, spend time in the word of God, even if it's just five minutes, even if it's just reading one chapter a day, spend time in the word of God and watch the transformative work it'll do in your life, family, because the word of God is not just a random book. The word of God is active. It's living. It's transformative, family. And if we'll spend that time in the word of God each and every day, we will see a change that it'll bring about in our lives. It'll impart godly wisdom into our lives so that we can remain on the path of godly wisdom, that we will not stray on and wander away from that path into sin and destruction and all these kinds of things, family. That is the key. If we want to remain on God's path, if we want to remain in his will, if we want to remain on the path of godly wisdom, we need to read the word of God each and every day, family. And as you do this, watch what the Lord will do and accomplish in you through you and for you thank you family i hope that this message has blessed you and encouraged you and given you some food for thought and before i end i'd just like to close in prayer father god we come to you in the name of your son jesus christ lord we thank you for this day that this is the day that you've made and we can rejoice and be glad in it lord we thank you for your word and the advice in your word lord and i pray lord for each and every single person listening myself included lord, that you will help us to apply this advice lord help us to spend time in your word each and every day lord help us to not neglect 
spending time in your word, Lord, so that your word can do a transformative work in our lives, that your word can stir up our faith, Lord, that your word can lead us, guide us, correct us, and equip us, Lord, to do the work that's set before us, Lord. Help us, Lord, to remain on the path of godly wisdom, Lord, and to not wander off that path, Lord, so that we can live the life that you want us to live, Lord, that we can accomplish in this life what you want us to do, and that we can live the blessed, prosperous, and abundant life that you want us to live during our time here on earth. And we give you alone all the praise, the glory, and the adoration. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen. Thanks for watching my video. I trust that the content of the message blessed you and encouraged you. And if it did, I'd like to ask you to please hit the share button to help us spread this message and to get it out there to your friends and family so that they too may be blessed by this message. And before you leave, please give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment, let me know what you think about the content of this video. And I'd like to invite you to please come back and join me for more episodes of From Heaven at 7, which premiere live every day of the week at 7 a.m. Central African time on the Evangelist Matthew Lee Facebook page, as well as my YouTube channel where the replays of the videos remain for those who are unable to watch the live premiere. If you watched this message today and were touched by this message and feel like you want to give your heart to the Lord and make the decision to accept Jesus Christ as your personal and savior, I would love to invite you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says salvation. And if you watch this message and were blessed by it and feel led to sow a seed into the ministry or to partner with us on a monthly basis, I'd like to ask you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says says giving. Alternatively, at the bottom of the screen right now is the ministry's banking details as well as our Snapscan QR code. And lastly, I'd just like to ask you to please go and like and follow all my social media accounts if you haven't already to be kept up to date and in the loop with everything that's happening in the ministry and every time we upload a video just like this one. Thank you family. Enjoy the rest of your day and God bless.